volunteer to be one of the pallbearers? No, I, I was actually asked if I, I like to volunteer, and uh, I think that was like the greatest thing uh, they could ask me to do because uh, Wen Yong Ke has been a very close and dear friend to me. You, you were asked by who? Coming in. Who asked you to? My, my managers asked me. Yeah, they sent a mass message out to ask who right. wanted to attend uh, Wen Yong Ke's. Sending off, so I said, Yeah, I would like to. And the next message that came to me is, Would you like to be one of the Paul Bearers? So uh, I was actually very delighted and uh, very happy. Uh. What's your fondest memory of me? Just too many. Maybe you could just say one, you know, maybe about your last injury. Oh, I think it would be really funny to share this with you guys. Uh, we talk most. Uh, outside of filming and so I think one time we were changing out of our outfits and we were all getting ready to go home and I think uh, it was a really tough day I couldn't do some of the scenes and he would say you know uh, I'll share with you this story there was this monk and a disciple that were crossing a river uh, but they, they met this very pretty lady who needed their help so uh, the, the lady asked this monk if she could help if he could help so the monk said okay fine I'll carry your stuff and I'll carry you across the river so the disciple was very unhappy, but then he actually kept it inside of him and uh, they passed many villages and uh, it came to a point where the monk actually asked, say, is there something you want to ask me? So the disciple said, yes, you know, I thought we took a vow of celibacy. You know, we're not supposed to be touching women or doing different things. He said, yes, I know, but I helped her across the river and I left her there. I've moved on, but you are holding this grudge or this unhappiness with you. So in, in life, we should actually just do what we need to do and uh, just let it be and move on with our lives. We should not actually hold bad grudges or hold unhappiness in our hearts. And I think that is that one thing that will take me throughout life, you know, that uh, I can apply to just about anything. Do you remember what was your last interaction with him? I think it was during the 30th anniversary of, uh, of Chinese drama that we met and uh, I saw that he had lost quite a bit of weight, uh, that he wasn't his usual jovial self. But I didn't ask and uh, we just looked at each other and we just nodded and I think uh, that for me was more than, than uh, the how are you, you know, uh, are you getting on fine? But that was, he knew what I was thinking and he, he had rest assured. He assured me that he was alright, just with a simple nod. And, uh, yeah. Would you have uh, said that you couldn't say your final goodbye to him? Yes and no, but um, my, my relationship with Wen Yong Ke goes uh, beyond that physical contact or, or, uh, or meeting. You know, I, he has always had this liking for me and... Uh, mentioned before whenever he sees me he'll call me handsome you know <laughs> but he'll always end it off with, with something to bring me down bring me back to her and say but God is fair you need to improve on your Mandarin so <laughs> that's Wen Yong Ke for you huh? mm-hmm. so do you think TV has lost you know, a real icon oh yeah for sure for sure uh, but uh, I think we have enough memories of Wen Yong Ke we have those who have known him, those who have uh, gotten to know him or worked with him uh, have enough uh, things to last them a lifetime. Like for me, I have all the memories and it's been good. All good. Personally, what's your favourite role of I think I really liked it when he played, uh, in, I, I think the, I can't remember the title of the show, but uh, it was the one where he played this kind of like unscrupulous devious father of Rayan it really showed a different side of him you know he's used to playing all the good goofy roles but this one really showed a different layer of the character that he's played and I think he actually did a lot of homework and took a very daring step so uh, I saw a different part of Wen Yong Ke and uh, yeah I've told him before and like I said um, I'm sad uh, I don't have him there when I need him anymore but uh, I have enough good memories of him and uh, I've been honoured to be a part of his sending off